Hi guys, this is Teacher Chris and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome to the Module 2 of Quarter 2 Science 8, Understanding Typhoons. This lesson will help you to understand the concept of typhoon formation. After going through this lesson, you are expected to explain how typhoon develops and how it is affected by land masses and bodies of water. What is a typhoon? Tropical cyclone, also called Trifon or Bajo in our country, an intense circular storm that originates over tropical warm ocean, is characterized by low atmospheric pressure, high winds, and heavy rain. The picture shows how strong the typhoon is, we can see the white clouds in a spiral motion and the wind spin that rotates in a counterclockwise direction. A super typhoon as seen from high above the earth. At the center is the eye of the super typhoon. Typhoon is used on in northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean. While the term hurricane is used only in the northeastern part of the Pacific Ocean and in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. Tropical Cyclone Wind Signal when PAGASA monitors the tropical cyclones enter the PAR and it is constantly in motion, generally toward the Philippines then it is time to issue warning signals. The public storm warning signal number over a threatened or affected locality may be sequentially upgraded or downgraded. Revised Public Storm Warning System PSWS Hashtag 1 Lead time of 36 hours. Wind speed of 30 to 60 km per hour. Impact, no damage to very light damage. PSWS hashtag 2. Lead time of 24 hours. Wind speed of 62 to 120 km per hour. Impact, light to moderate damage. PSWS hashtag 3. Lead time of 18 hours. Wind speed of 121 to 170 km per hour. Impact, moderate to heavy damage. PSWS hashtag 4. Lead time of 12 hours. Wind speed of 171 to 220 km per hour. Impact, heavy to very heavy damage. PSWS hashtag 5. Lead time of 12 hours. Wind speed of more than 220 km per hour. Impact, very heavy to widespread damage. Tropical cyclone categories. Tropical depression if it has a maximum wind speed of 64 km per hour. Tropical storm if it has a maximum wind speed of 118 km per hour. Typhoon if it has a maximum wind speed of 200 km per hour. And super typhoon if it has a wind speed of greater than 200 km per hour. How typhoons develop? A tropical cyclone forms when winds blow into areas of the ocean where the water is warm which is found near the equator. The better source of water vapor is in the ocean but not all can provide water vapor. At what temperature they develop? According to the scientists, the temperature of ocean water must be 26.5 Celsius or greater. Where did the tropical cyclones form? A tropical cyclone forms in the ocean where there is greater amount of water vapor. In what direction did the tropical cyclone usually move? Usually, typhoons move in northwest direction. The reason is because there are large scale of winds that push the tropical cyclones in that direction. Which part of the Philippines was commonly hit by the tropical cyclones? Cyclones often struck the northern part of the Philippines Luzon. Where do tropical cyclones die out? When tropical cyclones reach land, they die out because they are cut off from the warm ocean waters that keep them going. 
Why is the Philippines prone to typhoons? The Philippines is prone to typhoons due to its geographical location and is surrounded by warm ocean water. How many typhoons visit the Philippines each year? The Philippines is visited by an average of 20 typhoons each year, five of which are destructive. Thank you for watching. Do you have any questions for me? Comment it down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.